An electrifying afternoon in the city of Toronto. This is from around the noon hour. A couple of strikes on the CN Tower. As that heavy rain and that heavy system moved through the thunder, the lightning, so strange to hear that and see that in February. Yeah, absolutely. And it seems like we need all the equipment and gear because the yo-yo effect continues, right, Anthony? People yeah. People needed their umbrellas and maybe parkas at some point. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, you'll, you'll need it all and maybe sunglasses thrown in as well. <laughs> so it is uh, one of those days, one of those weather patterns, and it's not just locally. This is extending across Canada, across the U.S. as well. I'll try in the short amount of time that I have to explain some of those extremes. Windsor, uh, one in particular, 21.4 degrees today. That is a new February record. A lot of daily records being set as well uh, and more to come tomorrow before that cold front, which which will move through the GTA just after noon. Those winds will pick up. They'll gust as high as 70 or 80 kilometers per hour. We're not quite in the flash freeze criteria here in Toronto. So that's some good news. The rain ends and then it turns colder hopefully drying up any puddles so we don't have that icy situation, but it will certainly feel icy with a 40 kilometer per hour wind and minus five. That's a minus 17 wind chill by late evening. Minus 17. Right now, it's plus 11. It's 20 in Chicago. They had uh, the warmest winter day on record there. Minus 17 in Winnipeg, minus 20 in Saskatoon. The prairies are still frigid. Very easy to see where the cold front is. And when you have this type of extreme on both sides of the front, you would expect some strong storms. And we had, thankfully, elevated storms around here. Lots of lightning, some small hail. But it's the surface storms, the ones that start spinning and create supercells. That's the concern around Chicago tonight. There is a new tornado watch box, more expected for parts of the Ohio Valley. And when these storms develop and intensify with all that energy at night, there's a added concern. So we're going to keep an eye on that in the weather center. And then, of course, that front that moves through. We may wake up in the middle of the night from some thunder and lightning. But uh, overall, again, those storms will not be severe. What could be severe is that flash freeze up through central Ontario and then the Ottawa Valley as well. And again, that's tomorrow throughout the day. So let's uh, show you our future cast model. There's that risk of storms. This is four in the morning through the GTA. And then the cold front still has to come through in the early afternoon. There's still some storms in eastern Ontario. And then lake effect snow. Oh yeah, the winds coming across the unfrozen waters. You don't often see lake effect on the end of uh, February, but there's just no ice on the lakes. So lake effect is what we're going to be dealing with. And around Barrie to Georgina, Scugog, maybe even into Newmarket if it gets a bit further south. This is 25 to 35 centimeters. Thursday morning's commute, keep that in mind, is going to be a slow one. Overnight lows tonight, what is this, mid-April? Daytime highs tomorrow, Timmins minus 14, yet Fort Erie, Ottawa, Montreal, all breaking records at plus 14. So uh, big changes on the way. I'm here to be, I'll be here throughout the day tomorrow, updating you on social media as well. Minus two Thursday, that's the one cold day. And then look at this weekend, 13 Saturday, 12 on Sunday with some showers. 13, 12, the uh, unusual warmth continues with one exception. All right, here's tomorrow. If you're walking the dog, there will be some showers, but uh, you don't need the toque, Daisy. Repeat performance tonight, guys. I'll send it back to you and uh, get back to those watches and warnings that I've been keeping an eye on all day. Okay, thank you for that, Anthony.